Hello, today I would like to show you how to set your text on fire in Photoshop. My name is Ivan and I have over 9 years of professional experience in Photoshop. Before we start, I would like to recommend you Envato Elements. Here you will find a great collection of different effects, textures and backgrounds. You can follow along with the written tutorial over on our website, the link is in the description. Let's create a new document with 1200 by 850 pixel size. Create a new solid color layer and use the color code, which you can see on the screen. Create the text in all caps using the Allure Light font. Right-click the text layer and select Create Work Path. Make the text layer invisible and create a new layer. Let's name it Stroke Flames. Go to Filter, Render, Flame. Now we will be playing around with different options and settings to stroke the path with flames. You can see basic and advanced values I used on the screen. But don't hesitate to play with these settings to get the result you like more. Click OK to apply the filter. It might take some time, so just wait a little bit for it to be rendered. Press A button and then hit the delete button to get rid of the work path. Create a new layer on top of the stroke flames layer, name it flame texture. Make sure to set the foreground and background colors to black and white by hitting this little icon. Right-click the Flame Texture layer and select Convert to Smart Object. After that, right-click the Flame Texture again and select Create a Clipping Mask. Then go to Filter, Render, Clouds. Now let's go to Filter Gallery and start adding filters. Go to Sketch, Bar Relief and use the settings which you can see on the screen. Click the New Effect Layer icon to add another filter and apply the same filter one more time. Add another new effect layer and select brush strokes splatter. You can copy the settings from the screen. Change the flame texture layer's blend mode to soft light. Double click the flame texture layer to adjust its blending options. We are going to adjust this layer sliders under the blend if section. Press and hold the Alt key and then drag the right slider to split it. As you move the slider sense, you will notice how the texture starts to blend better with the flames. Play with this setting until you get the result you like. Now we will add the flame images. It is better to add the image as smart objects so that you can apply changes to them non-destructively. To do so, go to File, Place Linked and open the image you want to add. Change the image layer's blend mode to screen. Press Ctrl T to enter the free transform mode and move, resize and rotate the image to place it over a part of the text. To match the color of the flames with the strokes flame color, you can go to Image, Adjustments, Hue Saturation and change the hue to about 3 and the saturation to minus 35. Let's add one more flame the same way. To duplicate the adjustments, press and hold the Alt key and click and drag the Smart Filters tab to newly added image layer. Repeat the steps to add as many flame images as needed to the text. Here is my result. Place all flame image layers in a group and name it Flames. Add any of the smoke images which you like as smart objects and change its layers blend mode to screen. Place the smoke image over a part of the text and transform it as needed. Press Ctrl U to adjust the hue saturation Check the colorize box and change the hue to 215. 
the saturation to 25 and the lightness to minus 60. Double click the smoke image. This time we are going to adjust the underlying layer sliders under the blend if section. Press and hold the Alt key and then click and drag the right slider to split it. As you move the slider sense, you will notice how the smoke image starts to blend better with the text and the background. Right click the smoke image layer and select copy layer style. Add more smoke images to the text. And for each new image you add, right click its layer and select past layer style. You can also duplicate the hue saturation adjustments the same way you duplicated them for the flame images. Repeat the same steps until you like the outcome. Here is my result. Place all the smoke image layers in a group and name it smoke. Change the opacity to 85%. We are going to add more smoke images to create more depth. So add a new smoke image, change its layer blend mode to lighter color, place it over any part of the text and transform it as needed. Add a few more smoke images using the same blend mode and keep them a little bit smaller in size than the lighter ones. Place all the new smoke image layers in a group and name it Smoke 2. Change the opacity to about 50%. Place one of the firework images over any part of the text. Change its layer blend mode to linear dodge and transform it as you like. And finally repeat the same steps to add more sparks all over the text. Here is my result. Place all the spark image layers in a group and name it sparks. Hold the Alt key and drag the Stroke Flames layer down to create a copy below the original. Rename the copy layer to Glow, right-click and select Convert to Smart Object. Add the Gaussian Blur effect with the radius set to 25. Change the Blend Mode to Hard Light and the Opacity to 25%. Place a new smoke image on top of all layers and change its layer blend mode to screen. Resize the image to fill one side of the document. Press Ctrl U to adjust the hue saturation, check the colorize box and set the hue to 215, the saturation to 25 and lightness to minus 83. Add Gaussian Blur effect with radius set to 6. Our aim here is to create a foggy effect all around the text. Repeat the same steps to add a couple more smoke images. Place the Fireworks 17 Image 2 texture on top of the solid color layer Transform the texture as needed to fill the background. And change the blend mode to linear dodge and the opacity to 50%. If you want to get rid of any parts of the texture, click Add Layer Mask icon and make sure to select the mask's thumbnail. Set the foreground color to black, pick the brush tool and select a soft round tip.
and over any areas you want to erase. Now let's create adjustment layers. Go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, Color Lookup. Select Foggy Night and change the opacity to 10. And here is our final result. Today you have learned how to create flame text effect in Photoshop. Thank you for watching and feel free to check our channel if you want to learn more about Photoshop effects.